New reports from the World Health Organization are raising some eyebrows today. The organization is now reporting COVID-19 patients without symptoms may not be spreading the virus as much as previously thought. And now WHO went live this morning on Twitter and some health leaders like Andy Slavitt tweeted the organization is changing some statements in the report. Here to help explain and clear up some of this confusion is our nine health expert, Dr. Pyle Coley. Good morning, Dr. Coley. So talk about the new information uh, WHO is releasing now to come to this conclusion. Uh, good morning, Natasha. So this new information actually came based off of contact tracing in Taiwan and Germany. And yesterday what they said is that based off this contact tracing, truly asymptomatic spread is very rare. And then today, as you just saw, they walked it back a little bit in a tweet saying that they actually regret making that statement. And I do think that it was a sloppy statement to make yesterday because it was based off of contact tracing, which we know is a very imperfect science because it's prone to recollection bias. So, you know, people are asked about memories of their symptoms as well as who they've come into contact with and it's very possible if somebody had a mild headache a couple of weeks ago they won't remember that two weeks later or if you go to a nursing home and ask an elderly demented patient to recall who all their contacts are they won't be able to remember that so making those types of conclusions based on contact tracing i think is fraught with risk yeah it seems to be really tricky uh, is it true then that asymptomatic transmission is then very rare no, in fact, quite the opposite. And they walked this back today as well. And what they said is that their models estimate that about 16% of asymptomatic people are transmitting, but they also said that it could be as high as 40%, which is the guidance that we've been getting from the CDC. So asymptomatic transmission continues to remain a very real possibility with COVID-19. But what we are learning is that people that we had previously called asymptomatic actually maybe had mild disease or atypical symptoms that they didn't realize. And we've also learned in studies that people start to spread the virus about two to three days before they show symptoms. So just because somebody doesn't have symptoms, that can't lead us to the conclusion that they can't be spreading the virus. Mm -hmm. So the CDC, of course, maintaining that asymptomatic spread is very possible. So, I mean, who do we listen to here and follow guidelines from a CDC or WHO? Yeah, I think now that the WHO has actually revised their comment and said that asymptomatic spread is possible, they're both very consistent with one another. But the CDC, as you said, has always maintained that it's possible. And at the end of the day, the message is the same, that this virus, one of the reasons that it's been difficult to control is because people can start spreading it before they even realize that they're infected or never have you know symptoms that show that they're infected. So the take home message is really the same at the end of the day, which is that assume everyone's infected, keep wearing those masks, keep doing that social distancing because a large proportion of people that could be spreading it don't realize that they have it. All right, Dr. Coley, thanks for coming on and clearing up that confusion.